to go. How about a little AC? Air conditioning wastes gas. Crack a window. People would think we can't afford air conditioning. You wanted to go. Should have done your research. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Starbucks. I really hate coffee, but when I drink it, you know life ain't going the way life should be going. It's chicken going down rough. Adds up. Chicken going down rough. Chicken going down rough. I am drinking a hefty cup of coffee myself right now. Starbucks pods. It's about to get it on like hammy looking for nuts. Look, look, I found my nuts. Oh. Two freckled friends. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Do that. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Allie. And Brooke. Hey, Emmy. We appreciate you tuning in to a brand spanking new episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you like your caffeine long and strong, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, it's about to get a little loony because in this episode, it will have some toonies invading our TVs. Brooke, why don't you tell everyone out there what we're watching this week? Today, we are watching Tiny Toon Adventures, their vacation, how I spent my vacation in 1992. Who is this, Warner Brothers? Some folks may not have had the pleasure of having a WB afternoon after school. They're in Hampton's family's car and like they're about to cross the 100,000 mile mark and they're like, oh, we missed it. And then they back up. Every time I'm about to cross a new mile marker in my mind, I'm like, oh, Hampton's family on the trip. If you're brand new to our channel, what Brooke and I are going to do is we're going to watch Tiny Toon Adventures, How I Spent My Summer Vacation. We're going to give our own thoughts and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its own official freckle score. So without further ado, we're gonna take it all the way back to 1992. It is the one, the only, Tiny Toon Adventures How I Spent My Summer Vacation. Let's roll it! A Tiny Toon Adventures come and join, join the, the fun. fun. And, and now, now the song, song is done. done. Alrighty, here we go. And three, two, one, play. I just realized they said Luniversity. School, they don't teach that no more. Pencils? When's the last time I used a pencil? Pencils in writing. Steven Spielberg! Waiting for the clock to strike three. We'll be free. Adios, Luniversity. Summertime is coming, finally. See you in September. Oh, when school started in September. Oh. I will get a golden tag every second that I can. During summer break, I'll see the sights. Get a kitty and squeeze him tight. Bunsy skunk hunk of my dreams. Come on, stupid clock, please. Strike three, strike one, strike two. And what children don't realize is that the teachers look forward to summer vacation more than the students do. They sure do. I'll turn it in on time, but you know, my, my friends were in town and I, I wanted to get it done. But Leave me alone with summer break. This afternoon, -y, summertime is here. Three months vacation, it's across the nation. It's the best time of the year. Visit up the acres for a cool time in the sun. We're tiny, we're toony. This didn't come out in theaters, did it? Now what do we do first? The beach? <laughs> How old are they? Yeah, I was trying to piece that together. <laughs> it's, it, it, yeah. Shall we simply veg the whole 12 weeks away? A veg 12 weeks. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little. 
Aww. the propaganda. I'm going out of town this summer. Huh? My folks are taking me to Happy World Land. Happy World Land? Go on all the rides till you barf fun for kids of all ages. Happy World Land? That's every duckling's dream. Hurry up, son. We're all raring to go. Hey, I'll skip. Uh, I'll send you a postcard. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> you on your own. Figure this out. Where are your parents? To log. Hi, you can't go. Bye, Plucky. Toilet paper fallout? My best pal off on the dream vacation of a lifetime. Oops, dropped the toilet paper. Ah. We'll see who gets left behind. Where are your parents? Oh, so Uncle Stinky is ready to roll, too. <laughs> Definitely forgot about him. Oh, look. What'd I tell you? Bessie's about to hit 100,000 miles. <laughs> What'd I tell you? And then he messes it up. Hooray! Forgot to take off the lens cap. Oh. <laughs> I think the left front tire is a little low. Oh my lordy! What's all this, kids? Sex sells one. Businessmen who like short skirts. Sex sells. Says who? Why, Plucky, did you want to come on our trip? And that's how y'all see him? No, ma'am. I'll just spend my summer here. Can't we take Plucky with us? Why, sure. You can sit next to Hampton and Uncle Stinky. Hiya, Hammy. There, Uncle. But who wants to be on a ooh, road trip 101? Never, if you can avoid it, take the middle seat. Never. Oh, the sun shines bright on Babsy Bonnie's heart. Not old Kentucky home. <laughs> yeah, girl, yeah. <laughs> This was 92. How old were we watching this shit? Ah. Uh... Who comes up with ideas like this? Right, I was thinking this too. Ooh. Like... Don't you dare squirt Bab inside the burrow. That kind of thing is for outside play. Damn, he is. <laughs> Bab, show him. All them damn kids. Do your ears look better dry or wet? This is like when you get respawned in the same spot on GTA. Now this is Goldeneye right here. Water! <laughs> Perhaps I've gone too far. Perhaps. <laughs> but Buster will get drenched for sure. You say that? Now for the Coupe de Gracie. <laughs> He is not taking a tsunami to Acme Acres. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> he on top. It's water thing to Babs. He threw out the entire video. Uncle. Uncle. So how do we stop this thing? We don't. So long, Acme Acres. Hello, adventure. What in the Bob Ross is this? Today I thought we'd do an almighty barn. Let's get to go in here and let's do one. Buster and Babs are like in peril. I'd rescue them if I didn't have this summer job. Right. How's about going to the dead gum movies with me? <laughs> She's a palm reader. I see aliens. 
little aliens from outer space. They force their way inside your bodies. Johnny Pew, movie style of my dreams. Let me get a clear look at your aura. Johnny Pew is heading toward the Acme Resort Hotel. She ain't pay. And summer dizzy shed, dizzy spin, dizzy be naked. You need to get in touch with your feelings, Diz. Spin for the sheer joy of spinning. Oh my. the dude in the box must be the new trend new trend the box look is in you just gotta go to the bed if you don't get oh, oh all right the girls just can't bed gum resist me excuse me that's what you teach them just keep asking until they cave be annoying be a pest yes the Von Trapp family, they ain't. So long, farewell, oh, be to say. Taste my first champagne. Yes? No. We don't drink in our family, Plucky. You wanted to go. How about a little AC? Air conditioning wastes gas. Crack a window. People would think we can't afford air conditioning. You wanted to go. Should have done your research. Ah. Is that sweat? Wank, 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 wank. I stand corrected. Not Egypt. Uh, Steven <laughs> what the? W With the Steven Spielberg. Spot the car. There's, There's a car. car. There's a car. There's a car. There's a car. What? Truck. Shoot me. I mean. Everybody hold your breath the total and make a wish. If you hold your breath the whole time, your wish will come true. I wish in Happy World Land. I wish I was in Happy World Land. <laughs> I miss school. <laughs> it's the first day. I guess you didn't get your wish. Neither did you guys. We made the same wish we always do. Be a happy and loving family. Game's over, Uncle Stink. Oh. That's say jaundice orange? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> Is that you? There's so many adult jokes in We'd have never got this ish as kids. Never. I think we've gone far enough down this river. The carefree croaking of the frogs. The scary possum kid plucking the banjo. <laughs> Don't worry, Babs. He's just trying to communicate. Are you falling for me? I do, kids. Superman! Get your own video! It's your call. The marketing. <laughs> We make big commotion in the ocean. Wrong cartoon. The shade. You okay, Babsy? You didn't realize how long they've been gone. What's that? We'll just quietly retreat. Possums will eat your ass. How do you get Lester's possum part? Who's your favorite possum? Lester! <laughs> These must be his kinfolk. I'm telling you, they're gonna eat your ass. Good evening, ladies. Oh, Lordy. Why do they do that? They want us to stay for dinner. For dinner or as dinner. Relax, Babs. Don't be so judgmental. Good salt of the earth folk. That's what scares me. <laughs> You should put moonshine in there. Either that or hot sauce. I got hot sauce in my bag. Swag. <laughs> oh God! Now got the you want to try to kill her? <laughs> oh God! Sent the whole plan. <laughs> but they left Buster alone. <laughs> He was over there jamming, don't care what happened with his family. Oh, he's sad. You are really so alert.
That shit don't change. It doesn't change. They stay that way. Unfortunately. They're gonna stay the way you meet them for their whole life. They might even get worse. I'm gonna say it three times for each one of my failed marriages. You can't change a man, you can't change a man, you can't change a man. They're in their simplest form. It's like bending a rock. Element 119 on the elemental table, man. Come back, kitty, you'll get a sunburn. Oh my God. Can you like turn your stink off? You have the ability to do that. How may I help you? I am here to get Johnny Pew's autograph. Why would you tell the bellhop that? Same reason why she doesn't know how to turn her stink off. <laughs> Not Arnold. I think that was Sylvester. This is the equivalent of the Beverly Hills Hotel. Uh, would you like me to check your chin? You see Mickey Mouse? No, uh, right this way. You both claim to be Michelle Lovitz. Will the real Michelle Lovitz please stand up? Where's Eminem at? Will the real Slim Zadie please stand up? We're gonna have a problem here. Stand up, free! Arthur! Is she drunk? Aubrey! Is that Roseanne? Yeah. Girl, why are you chasing that man? Some Hollywood hot shot in the hotel. <laughs> now she turning into those groupies that chase athletes. Hi. It took her a while. Not David. When I ordered room service, I was hoping they'd send up another room. Johnny Carson and Ed McMahon? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of twee are you? Well, girlfriend. Oprah. Oprah did not sound like that. Let's get busy. <laughs> We're having some fun now. Girl, you were in there, though. <laughs> Blow your nose. Merci, Johnny! Could I have your autograph? I don't have a pen. Bitch, you ain't bring one? Relax, babe, we'll find one. I will die for you. What? If you were alive, I would die for you. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Just carry my stuff. That shit don't change either. Mayo and cream cheese on white with a crust cut off. Uh. They bring their own food to the drive-in. Don't believe this family. That's five waters to go. Oh. You don't want anything else? Cheapskates. A jumbo cheeseburger, chili fries. Thanks, miss. We're fine. If I can't stuff my face, I'll feed my intellect. Comic books. How far away are we from Happy World Land? Samurai slugs. Number one. We don't allow Hampton to read comic books. Convinced comics will sap a kid's cerebellum. Reading in the car always makes me car sick. You deserve what you get. Where is Happy World Land? That one possum left. Ravioli. Naming Italian dishes. Hot pepperoni. Spumoni. We haven't eaten in weeks. Bill Parmigiana. That song really put me in the mood. Or what? Pizza. You got any money? Thank you, Mr. Romance. Uh, that won't change either. Well, shut my mouth wide open. A southern man. A southern mansion, also known as... Plantation. A Dalmatian plantation. A Dalmatian plantation, I say. Nice place to live if you've got a boat to your neck. Yes! Gotta go. He made you suffer with the possums. He should suffer with the gators. I don't see what's wrong with right. He's got no pain. I'm Big Boo. I'm Sissy Boo. Woo! I'm Little Boo. I'm out of here. Skin me alive and call me luggage. <laughs> a gentleman caller's done come a courting. I'm not courting anyone. Courting's over. It's time for the wedding. She got some big titties. Which one of you hasn't been married for a while? Which of y'all hasn't been married in a while? So they've been married before? He got stuck in her titties. But, mom. You'll all marry this one. I'll get the oven ready. The oven? The oven. Y'all been asking for it for a while. Rabbit, two ways, crispy, golden, fried up, so nice and tender. A hoss and pfeffer rabbit. Come on, folks, because we're hopping down the trail. Teach Buster a thing or two about starting water fights. I just need a plan. A shack full of fireworks. Isn't that convenient? Dearly beloved. Zub, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> There. Chuck B. Charlatan from the Acme Fireworks Company. This month's special is a variety of wedding fireworks. Looking kind of peaky there, son. That took long enough. <laughs> Watching you sweat. <laughs> Are you 
married? You get married. You're having a wedding right now. Meet the missus. Yes. You'll just step this way for a ringside seat. Goodbye, good luck, and boom voyage. Happy Independence Day. Let's bolt. Thanks. I owe you one. Well, are we gonna start counting now? Daddy <laughs> ran away. Wild animals can be very, very dangerous. Ooh, a kitty. Well, they're toys. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> They put all them toys in the back, hopefully have her shut the hell up. I'll just die if I don't get a kitty. It's my obsession. Who uh -oh. need a tune-up? When the cheetah runs from Elmira. They must have heard about you in the streets. Ooh, looking good, baby. <laughs> baby kitties. I want to eat you up. No time for hide and seek. Got you. Ta da! Da 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 da. Oh. <laughs> she kidnap all the animals at the zoo? There are many carnival us animals. But don't find you want to from. Emmy knows gonna be so capricious. Kitty <laughs> <laughs> cat, the king of the jungle. Not the Bart Simpson. Hey, what are you doing? I lose more kitties that way. I'm a wilting waterfowl. I could stand a pit stop myself. Let's suit up. Commence restroom sterilization. Water. Nothing like a clean restroom. Not all road trips are created equal. How long till we're at Happy World Land? It's the first time I've heard of Happy World Land in an hour. Here's Zach Akers. Here's Happy World Land. Here's us. That'll put us into Happy World Land April 6th, 2021. Ah! Backseat driving. Wow. Need a lift? A psychotic killer has escaped maximum security prison. Mama! Has a psychotic aversion to pork. Please notify the authorities at once. There's so much sensationalism in the media these days. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon. Pork chops. Hey. Hog jaws. Not hog jaws. Now you know that's country. He might be the best person to be around. The rest of them crazy too. You'll get to Happy World Land faster. I'll send an SOS to my sweetheart Shirley. She'll rush to our rescue. <laughs> Special delivery for Shirley the Loom. Dear Shirley, come on, Shirley. Aww. Will you sign my photo now? Are you always so needy? Oh! I've seen this flick a hundred dead dumb times, Shirley. Not you again. Lights at Devin! The sound system promo! <laughs> Mucus film. The audience is now dead. Will you carry my snacks? Take out the unpopped kernels, okay? They'll chip my calves. Uh, girl. Never meet your heroes. Well, sometimes I just need to relax. No smoking cigarettes in the theater. Scumnophobia! Yahoo! Shh! I've seen this a hundred times. Horatio is about to- If you don't shut your ass. Oh my god. Shh! Yourself. I'm as miserable as you are. But it's really only the stinky state trooper again. I don't. Happy? <laughs> Not the Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespectful. Johnny Pew, can I have your autograph? Sure, babe. Oh, he found a pen, didn't he? And stole her picture. I cannot believe you selfish, worthless, waste of skunk. Get your self-worth together. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Let Elvira have his bitch ass. Say hello to mommy Elvira. Stinky kitty face, man. That's karma. Ah. We're still down river.
Why is she the one who's paddling? I love the way the wind rustles through. Wow. Canny resemblance to a drowned rat when you get drenched. Drowned rat, huh? I want to go home to Acme Acres. Maybe that steamboat will give us a lift. <laughs> Grab the lifesaver. The Delta Burke. Candy at a time like this. Oh. What have we here? Stowaways? On the good ship. <laughs> that little lady is just what we need for our big show. They take after them damn frogs and Thumbelina. I haven't seen one billboard for Happy World Land. It's been two months. Are we still not there? If you're ever in Acme Acres, drop by and we'll chew the fat. Piggy swine! Did you have a nice talk with our guest, Plucky? <laughs> Heaven? The next best thing. Happy World Land! Happy World Land! We made it! Now y'all better spend some money at this damn park, as cheap as y'all been. Would you mind getting a few pictures of the family? <laughs> Cheese. Cheese! Happy World Land! Fun doesn't stop at only 80 bucks a pop. Happy World Land! The smiles are always rosy. It's the legendary Happy Go Pukey ride. How about a spin on the gargle? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Now let's go home. But we didn't do anything. Don't want to overdo it the first visit. Think what we'll have to look forward to the next time we come. Hell no. Happy go pukey! I'm staying here. Y'all can go home without me. Happy world land. You paid 80 bucks a pop to ride the monorail. Buster and Babs Bunny! Rolling, rolling down the river. My little product doll. You keep interrupting with your dumb songs. <laughs> It's our boat with no pants! No. Oh. Awesome skaters. Dinner theater. Main course. Bold. Bingo. Ready, go! Dinner! Yeah! yeah. Where's Superman when you need him? Man, Missy, I'd never eat a guy who could play his face. Told you music was the universal language. In the Donkey Kong Country minecart. Bunny Burgers! We're home! How did it take such a shorter time to get back? Home sweet home! That's how you know it's bad when you're kissing Uncle Stinky. Get me the fuck out of this car. We just had the lawn fertilized. <laughs> Bring it fast! I'm appalled! Release! They still in that mind. I never got a chance to tell you. I feel the same way. A plot hole? <laughs> it's at me acres. Oh, I can see my house. School's starting already? Summer's over. School is back in session. I actually had fun. I'm back from that vacation. Tommy Pew was a pity. I got my kitty. We've been out dark. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. Tiny toon adventures. And I am that champ. And now you are just stamp. I just can't help myself. Let's give it a freckle score. Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give Tiny Toon Adventures how I spent my summer vacation its official freckle score. That much nostalgia actually hit back with me and that was so, so much fun to watch. And I haven't seen this in so long. Your mind can pocket these things and then it comes alive, you know, like with the slightest trigger. There were definitely jokes in this that I did not get as a child. As an adult, I'm looking at it like, this is some funny shit. A lot of children's stuff now is not that complex. I wish that cartoons were that dynamic now. Seeing the different stars in there who I definitely did not recognize when I was five years old, I recognize now. There were some parts of it that I felt like could have been further developed, could have been slightly more complex for what it was. All in all, I had an amazing, amazing time for something that I hadn't seen in probably a solid 27 years. I give it a 4.75. Freckles. At the beginning of the film, it doesn't wait 
place, anytime. It puts you right into Tiny Toon Adventures 504. And when I say 504, this is a graduate level Tiny Toons Adventure class. So if you did not grow up on Tiny Toon Adventures, this movie probably would not be your cup of tea. They have a ton, and I mean a ton of puns and jokes and one-liners. And a lot of the jokes and one-liners are better than what you see in here in current movies. This film is very clever for being a straight to VHS. If you don't have a favorite Tiny Toon character, if you didn't even watch Looney Tunes and could kind of do a second degree of correlation with Tiny Toon Adventures, this may not be the movie for you. You can definitely tell this was not a feature length film for the movie theater. Sometimes you get that bootleg type of nostalgia feel to it. It's definitely a made for TV movie. There were some areas where it was a little dull, a little stretched, a little unnecessary. I'm definitely glad we were able to revisit this movie for the channel, but it's one of those films where I would not find myself having this in my catalog on repeat. My freckle score for Tiny Toon Adventures, how I spent my summer vacation is going to be three out of five freckles. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Have you seen this film in quite some time? Were you team Tiny Toon Adventures? Were you team a different cartoon? And while you're in the comments, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. The orchestra was its own character too, which also impressed me. The fact that I don't think you get that a lot in cartoons now. You just have like background music, very obvious instruments for each particular movement that characters did. <laughs>